What better way to stay cool on a hot summer's day than with a refreshing glass of water? But there's so many varieties of water to choose from. So we have Trione Moore here from the Healthy Road who's going to show us some plant waters and how we can choose them. So plant water is not everyone knows, but coconut water is included in coconut that. Coconut well. water. A yeah. lot of people are already drinking coconut water or they're talking about it, asking about it. Today I want to talk about how to choose a coconut water. Mm -hmm. So a few key points. One of the things you want to avoid is coconut water from concentrate. So this is where they reduce it down to a syrup and then they bring it back up to a coconut water right. and then sometimes they have to add flavors and other substances to make it taste better and that's another thing we don't want in coconut water any ingredients flavors sugars even coloring some companies add colorings to make their coconut water look more exciting so right. we can just do away with that for now okay so look at the ingredients and really the only ingredient should be coconut, the coconut water. water absolutely and also for for now I think it's important to get coconut water as organic because as demand increases some countries are implementing policies that circumvent organic practices and maybe subsidize chemical fertilizers so that may be a good key point for now okay so organic and only coconut water you got it no sugar added as well because sometimes when you look at that label it's kind of surprising yeah uh, it much is sugar they, is they sometimes do add sugars and that's not to say you can't add your own things but at least that way you can control the quantity and quality of what you add okay and it's good for you but if you don't so much like drinking it straight, what else can you do? Well, with it's it? funny, I actually don't like coconut water. So, what I do is I make coconut ice cubes, I put berries in them, and then right. I add it to my water, or you can add it to your favorite patio drink. Sometimes I even make iced coffee and I add plain coconut water ice cubes. Okay, so mm -hmm. let it melt in the drink. And exactly, then... and it's more subtle, and you're still getting some benefits. Okay, good. Yeah. I love coconut water. I know. Water. Yeah, yeah, so a lot good. of people do. I've never heard of this though maple water. Maple water. So, this is actually the maple sap. And it's funny, mm -hmm. it does look like water. It's not sticky and resinous like most people imagine. Right, you yes. imagine syrup and, yes. and sticky and thick, but That's this right. is just water. It, it looks like water. Mm -hmm. It Compared to coconut water, it is much more local, of course. We've got a ton of sugar maple in Canada. Mm -hmm. It's also half the sugars. Okay. It's naturally organic, and it has over 50 plant compounds, uh, things like lignans and polyphenols, things that have anti-cancer effects. Yeah. So we don't really know all the health benefits of maple water now, but I'm looking forward to what the research has to say. And it really does have a nice, refreshing maple taste. I'm actually going to try a little bit because I have some here. And, and one I'm of the curious. ways I like to use it is as a very light sports drink because it has the right okay. types of sugars and the right types of electrolytes that commercial sports drinks do, mm -hmm. but it's completely natural and more diluted. So it actually makes a really good sports drink for kids. Okay, because less sugar in there Less as sugar well. and all natural and just right. much, much more diluted. Okay, yes. yeah, actually it tastes really good. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's yes. good. It's a nice, um, a little, a tiny sweet flavoring, but yes. not too much. That's right, right not overwhelming. Okay, right. and then we also have here another tree that's involved in water. Birch water. Okay. Who knew? Yeah. So it is local to Canada as well. We've got a, a lot of uh, birch trees in northern Canada. And in northern Europe, they've been using birch water as a health tonic for centuries. Yeah, yeah it's really interesting. Yeah. So they also have, th this birch water has over 40 different phytonutrients including saponins which help with blood fats and then a sugar alcohol called xylitol which has no calories and it's actually anti-carrier anti-cavity okay. so you'll see it in things like uh, toothpaste mouthwashes gums so it's interesting it actually comes from birch trees as well naturally mm -hmm. there. Okay. now birch water is a little more tart tasting compared mm -hmm. to maple water mm -hmm. so a whole different ball game altogether yeah but even less sugars mm -hmm. so I find it nice to add to different things yeah it does have a, a great taste though it's a different taste but mm -hmm. it's still refreshing yes still refreshing it is okay and, and, and you can get these in in your grocery they're store? becoming very common right now and these are local to Canada which is very nice as well and one key point about choosing any sap waters, you want to choose uh, ones that have been tapped sustainably using traditional methods because it keeps the integrity of the tree rather than vacuuming out the sap, with, right. which some companies do. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Thank you so much, Trion. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. For more information, you can head to The Healthy Road as well and to breakfasttelevision.ca. We'll head to break here on BT. We'll be right back.